gotta love a horror movie that begins with the word the, because it tells you everything you need to know. Nobody second guesses that a movie called The Brain is about a brain that goes around killing people. Of the the genre, this is one of my favorites. The plot revolves around an evil scientist played by David Gale, who you might remember as the professor from Reanimator who gets his head cut off. He runs a TV show that brainwashes people. He gains control of their minds with the help of this weird brain monster. There's a rebel high school student who's the only one who can resist the brain's mind-controlling power and save the day, but not without some horrific hallucinations. Wait a minute. What you're seeing is his point of view. That visual effect right there, that's what he saw. Imagine if you're driving a car and see an evil brain flashing in your face, and then all of a sudden your vision breaks up like a triangular wipe transition from a cheap video program. The special effects are a real joy. The brain is both terrifying and hilarious. It always has that wicked smile, and you never really see how it gets around without any legs. Now I can't help but get on the topic of Ninja Turtles again. Doesn't this remind you of something? A brain with tentacles? Krang, of course. It makes no sense to me to make three live-action Ninja Turtle movies and never to include Krang. Some people have suggested that maybe the special effects would have been too difficult, but look at the brain! That's Krang right there, and it was done two years before the first Ninja Turtle movie. It wasn't the first Killer Brain movie. There was the brain from Planet Arrows and Fiend Without a Face. But this is the only one I know of from the 80s. And unlike all the other horror films of its time, there were no sequels and so far, no remake. Thank God, the brain exists in a world of its own. Now there's some food for thought.